This video will demonstrate the board features on your new Maxim commercial door operator. All new operators in this line will now have one main board for all SKUs. Boards now come with all terminals on the right side of the board for ease of wiring and installation. The new terminals are now plunge terminals where you simply press down and insert your wire, no tools required. The terminals can support up to 20 gauge wire for all your wiring needs. The terminals are also color coded to easily identify functionality and for ease of wiring to the correct terminals. Before we start, it is important to note that the terminals also have different colored plungers, black for your inputs and white for your common. If your board has the opposite colors, please note that will change shortly after launch. Terminals are not removable, they are stationary on the board. If a terminal breaks, please see your parts list as a replacement board will be needed. Here are the main board terminals, starting at the top and working our way down. Your accessory power inputs are in orange. You now have one amp of accessory power, more than double our current L5 operators. No need to add an external transformer. Notice you now have an AUX SW, which is called switched power. Accessories wired to this terminal are to optimize your battery backup power, as these accessories switch off when the unit is running on battery backup. You also have your standard accessory power terminal, where you can wire your accessories specific to the installation or application. The next set of terminals is your interlock input. This terminal should have a jumper on it from the factory. This will disable operator control circuits when the door is locked, preventing electrical operation to the door. Programmable inputs in green are the next set of terminals. There are four inputs here. If you have a non-monitored entrapment protection device, you can wire it to one of these terminals. If you require a truck presence sensor in dock applications, you can wire here. You will also be able to utilize these for timer defeat, FSTS, and car dealer mode. Once you determine what you will be wiring in these terminals, you can go to the floor level wall controller and choose programmable inputs from your system settings and choose your functionality by terminal. The blue terminals are similar to what you have today. They are SBC, single button control, open, close, stop, and common. Since the operator requires you to use the included wall-mounted floor level controller and you can only have one wired to the system, the SBC, open, close, stop, allows you to add as many three PBS stations as you need. It is here that allows you to choose the optimal condition for your door. Cable tension monitor terminals are new for the commercial door line. You can add one or two to the door to monitor the slack in the cable and trigger the operator to stop if needed. There are two terminals, so you can wire one in each, one for each side. Once you wire your CTM to the terminals, those will be auto-learned into the operator. In yellow, you will find three inputs for monitored entrapment protection devices. These are standard on the board and no need for any additional cards to add more than one entrapment protection device. You can wire monitored eyes, edges, light curtain, wireless edge, etc. Each is marked one, two, or three, which gives you added visibility in the menu and with diagnostics on which terminal needs review. The monitored entrapment protection devices will be auto-learned once you wire them to your terminal and will default to protecting the closing of the door. However, if for any reason you also need or want to protect the opening of the door, you can enter the menu, go to System Settings, Monitored Entrapment Devices, and choose which input you want to review. You can change to protect the open in this menu screen. Please refer to the manual for approved monitored entrapment protection devices. Last but not least, you have your two white terminals marked Wall Control. These are where you connect your two wires for the floor-level wall controller that comes packed in the operator. These terminals, as well as the wiring on the wall controller, are not polarity-sensitive and can wire in either input and still function as intended. Besides the terminals on the board, the board also includes spade terminals marked with battery. This is where you will connect your positive and negative battery terminals onto the board. This is polarity sensitive, so ensure you have connected them correctly. 
For added functionality and performance, we are offering two accessory kits. One is the AuxRel board, which can be used for adding limit switches, auxiliary relays, as well as adding lights, horns, strobes, etc., and what function you want them to do. You can have two AuxRel boards mounted to the front cover and then connected to the board, or you can have one AuxRel and one LP-EXP loop detector board. The LP-EXP can accommodate one loop DETLM, which, when connected, can prevent the door from closing on a vehicle when in the loop path. Some versions come with an accessory board. We have not wired it, but this is where it sits. Additional spots on the board include the antenna locations for both Wi-Fi and for adding an external antenna. Your antenna to connect to the operator can be found in the bag with the manual. Please ensure your antenna is mounted before leaving the job site. The board is also equipped with fuses for the incoming power and the auxiliary power. The fuses are 30 amp and can be replaced with standard automotive 30 amp fuses. Note, the installer must connect power to the wire harness. Three phase applications will only use two out of the three legs. See the manual for wiring details. The new Maxim commercial door line is a new DC platform. With that, you have new features that are included as part of the DC architecture. One of those features is the braking system. The units, 700 and 1200, now have a dynamic braking feature, so the motor is doing the braking for the system. You no longer have to order an external or modification brake to keep the door from drifting. Also, no more clutch is needed. The 2200 units will have the standard solenoid powered off brake. Visit support.partner.liftmaster.com to learn more about how to get the most out of LiftMaster products with MyQ Facility.